how do you undervolt a Ryzen 7 5800X3D? In this video, we are going to find out. My name is Matt, I'm a former rocket scientist, and my goal is to help you make the right component choices and put them together the right way every single time. In the It's Not Rocket Science series, we've been helping you troubleshoot and optimize your system to keep it running like a pro. It's not rocket science, and as you'll see throughout this series, it really is Lego. In this video, our focus will be on how to lower your temps and increase performance by undervolting your AM4 based CPU, something every AMD owner should know how to do. I'm sure that many of you have heard about the amazing benefits of undervolting your CPU, but either don't know how to do it or are scared about messing something up in BIOS or Windows. Don't worry, in this video I'll provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to set a stable undervolt and also how to make sure this undervolt loads automatically when Windows starts. One question I see a lot of people ask is how do I undervolt my CPU? Unfortunately, the 5700X3D is locked down on most motherboards, which means you will not be able to use the Curve Optimizer feature in Ryzen Master. So instead, I use a free tool called PBO2 Tuner, which provides you a simple way to perform an undervolt directly in Windows. First, you need to benchmark your CPU at default settings to establish a baseline. For this, I use Cinebench R24, 3 d Mark Time Spy, and 3 d Mark CPU Profile. Next, open PBO2 Tuner and enter a curve offset. I'm showing a negative 30 on all cores here, but you should start with something like negative 10 to be safe. You should then test the curve offset to make sure that your CPU is stable. For this, you can simply use the Cinebench multi-core test. Once you find a stable all-core curve offset, you can rerun the benchmarks you use to baseline your CPU at the fault settings to see what the performance gain is. For my 5700X3D with a curve offset of minus 30 on all cores resulted in a performance increase of only around 2.5%. Obviously this is not a large increase in performance, however, the CPU package temperatures went down significantly with decreases of 6 degrees Celsius in Cinebench and 15 degrees Celsius in 3 d Mark CPU profile, which is amazing. Your results will vary based on your silicon quality and cooling solution, but it's obviously worth spending some time to find a stable undervolt for just the temperature decrease alone. Unfortunately, PBO2 Tuner does not allow you to load a curve offset at startup, so in order to automatically lock this in, you will need to do the following. First, load Task Scheduler in Windows. Next, open the Action menu and click on Create Task. Type in a name for your task, such as 5700X3D Undervolt. Type in a brief description. Make sure that Run Only when user is logged on and Run with Highest Privileges are selected, and make sure that Windows 10 is selected next to Configure 4. Then open the Triggers tab and click on New. Change the Begin the Task option to At Startup and under Advanced Settings, click on Delay Task For and select 30 seconds before clicking on OK. Now open the Actions tab and click on New. Click on Browse and find the location of the PBO2 Tuner application, select it and click on Open. Next to Add Arguments Optional, type in your offset for each core. So for me, I would type in negative 30 eight times, one for each CPU core, with each one separated by a space. When you are done, click on OK. Now open the Conditions tab and make sure that Start the Task only if the computer is on AC power is unticked. And finally open the Settings tab and make sure that the only option ticked is Allow Task to be run on demand and under If the Task is already running then the following rule applies, make sure that QNU Instance is selected. Click OK and your new Core Offset setting should now auto load on Startup. You can check to make sure that it worked by rebooting your PC and after waiting about 30 seconds you should see the PBO2 Tuner software flash very quickly on screen. You can open it up and if your offset is there, then it was loaded successfully. Remember, it's not rocket science, it's Lego. My goal is to help you make the right component choices and put them together the right way every single time. Thank you for watching this video in the It's Not Rocket Science How To series. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel further, please also consider joining our new membership program, which I'm super excited about. Bye for now.